Joseph and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Thank you for the love. Life was simple, and they were both Update. Happy. No, it's not updating. That was until the day Isaac's mom... I don't know what the deal is with with um, OBS Studio, but sometimes it doesn't update my game. I'm paying it more attention to it now than I did last time, though, or previously. Because, like, I actually caught it just now. It was still on Among Us, even though I hit update. Alright, let's go. Okay. So. <laughs> Do the honors, Captain! Gracias, senor. All right, so, um, I have played a lot of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, or well, Rebirth and Afterbirth. I've done basically all of the major tasks, um, done all of the difficulties on every character, including the Forgotten. Fuck that shit. Um, so all that I really have left is the challenges. I've done all of the Rebirth challenges, and I've actually done four of the five um, Afterbirth Plus challenges. The only one left here is, as the name implies, ultra fucking hard. Holy shit hard fucking challenge. The other ones, a lot of these are just kind of luck based. Um, I don't want to boil it down to just, oh, you just need to be lucky. But like, for example, the Guardian, you don't take damage. You have a um, little AI person. Um, what's the item called? A uh, scapegoat that takes damage instead of you and it's it's super fucking random because um you can't control how the scapegoat moves around the map so like a lot of the time it'll just run straight into enemies or straight into enemy attacks and it's just like okay well i guess i lose then um speed is another one that's a lot of rng you've got to get good floor layouts you've got to get good pathing because you have an extremely strict time limit. The rest of these just have weird-ass gimmicks that aren't impossible, but are kind of ridiculous. I think Have a Heart is the other one that's really stupid in this one. Um, if it's the one I'm thinking it is. Um, I tried to do 8XL on my last stream, and I got very far, but I couldn't quite pull it through. So I think I'm going to actually go ahead and try that one again. This is the closest to just playing normal Binding of Isaac. But the, the gimmick with... Oh, fuck you, Curse of the Lost. So the gimmick... The, the thing is, I got, I got a very weak build. I didn't really get any damage of any... Oh, fuck. I'm just going to restart it. Um, Yeah, Curse of the Lost would have been awful. So the whole the whole gimmick with the, triple, uh, the 8XL challenge is that the maps are the absolute maximum possible size that they can be. Even beyond what the normal randomization of the game would permit. Um... So, like, you couldn't possibly play a normal game and get a basement one that's this size. But the game engine supports much more. So that's what that's what 8XL is, is supposed to be. It's the map's as big as it can fucking be. Which is interesting, but it's also kind of time-consuming. Um, unless you get, you know, some kind of damage item. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I'll get literally anything that makes the run go faster. Did I get a bomb yet? Yes. Um, I think I'm actually going to grab this half soul heart. Um, maybe not worth a bomb, but I don't want to miss out on like possible devil deals or whatever. There can't be a devil deal on this floor, unfortunately, because this is floor one. Floor one never has one, but that's okay. Oh yeah, the other thing about 8XL is that you are vanilla Isaac. You don't get to have any character benefits whatsoever. So that's kind of sad panda a little bit, but it's not really a bad thing. Just makes the first floor or two a little more tedious than they probably need to be. But that's the game, really. Okay. Fatties are one of the easiest floor one enemies. They just have six health, so they, they take a while to chew through. Well, six hits from base Isaac strength. Why did I go into this room? I had no reason to. Fuck. It's a dead end. It's a guaranteed dead end because of the map layout. 
Like, there, there can't be a room to the left of this. And it, there can't be, like, a treasure or anything like that above it. Alright, let's go. Easy portal room. I am not taking pills. I don't want to take that risk. Found the shop. That's very, very good. One nice thing about the 8XL is that because the floors are so big, you get lots of opportunities to find money and such, like consumables. Um, which means that if you find the shop, you're more likely to be able to actually buy something in it. Normally, buying something in a first floor shop is pure luck. Like, you can't really... You're very unlikely to get 15 coins on, on a normal sized first floor. Just super, super unlikely. Yay, got a fresh bomb. That's pretty good. Hoping to see a tinted rock. I'd love to get more soul hearts. But also the um the the jagged rock item or whatever would be nice to find. I always forget what it's called. Okay. If I'm gonna keep streaming this game, I really, really oh got a mullaboom. Run, Isaac, run. Okay, safe. I need to um enable the Twitch uh binding of Isaac overlay that lets you guys see what items I have for the run and stuff. And shows, I think it shows item info as well, so you can actually see what's going on. These things are also really annoying floor one enemies. Fuck, I fucked that up. Come on. You can see what I mean, though, that, like, a lot of the first floor stuff, when you have nothing, is, is a little tedious. That's a cool buddy to get. Um, so when I shoot through this buddy follows me on a three second delay um and when i shoot through him i shoot double shots so i can actually make use of that for certain things like boss battles um or like when i first enter a room like that i just got double shots straight double shots on those first couple of enemies only problem with interdimensional buddy is that it's not actually like damage <laughs> I mean, it's a little damage when used very well, but it's not actually damage. So we'll see what I got on my on my second floor, especially, and then I might reset the first floor or two once or twice just to hope for a a, a starting item that's not atrocious. That's really cool, especially that you made it like better. That's ultra cool. Um, some of the stuff on my screen now actually required a mod previously. The, um, showing the stats on the left side was originally a mod, and at some point in the Afterbirth plus, um, Afterbirth updates, they just added it to the base game because almost everyone was using it. Being able to just see your stats is so valuable. And, like, it's not like a really skilled player wouldn't just know those stats anyway. So, like, it's, it's really just beneficial to everyone. You know, I was about to make a dumb statement and say, whoa, this map's really huge, isn't it? And then I'm like, wait, I'm doing the challenge. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, I'm actually going to stay here. So I can get double shots on them when they first approach me. Slightly slow rolling the room, but made it really easy. When you're... When you're using interdimensional buddy, you want to kind of like try to slow roll your your kiting a little bit so that the interdimensional buddy can kind of keep up with you. It works good against these fatties, but against a lot of other enemies it's not quite as good. Oh, right. All right. Well, we're basically exploring this entire goddamn floor, aren't we? I just need the boss room at this point. Oh god. Cool trick, by the way, that I do a lot is um, you can use your momentum to direct your shots. So that's what I was doing right there. Um, using my momentum moving up slightly and then firing so that I fire a shot diagonally. It makes some combat in the first couple of floors a lot 
a lot easier and safer. Safer, mainly. And it's almost an essential tactic against certain enemies, like bonies. Um, it's a tinted rock about time. Yeah, soul hearts. Um, to add to that, you can actually Doppler your shots a little bit. If you take a step forward and then shoot, um, you get a little bit more range and your shot moves a little bit faster. To keep on the move on in this room. Lots of... Lots of... Uh, gapers and they're like spreading out across the room rather than just ch straight chasing me this game's AI is interesting sometimes oops I forgot that that was a red flame I'm just gonna kill it <laughs> okay that guy walked into the fire nice right, that left room is dead um, this room is a dead end sadly yeah, I got me some consumables yeah, the room in the top left of this is dead. There's no re reason for me to go to it, because the boss room cannot connect to it. Ah. Rock's getting in way. Okay, cool. Um, I have 16 coins, but the, I, the shop is also like a million miles away from me now, so whatever. This is a bad floor one boss. Uh, to fight with no real items. Okay, hard parts down. Okay, cool. Whew, relying a little bit on my tear knock back there to make him not hit me while I was DPSing. This is the main reason why this boss is a lame first floor boss. It's just slow for no good reason. There we go. Hey, that's actually a neat item. Um, so this, notably, it's a spacebar item that makes me like dash forward really fast for like an attack, I guess. I don't really care about the attack though. The main thing is that it's flying while I'm holding it and it gives me a huge speed boost. So that's pretty chill. It's not really like a good item, but it's cool. It's not useless. Being able to fly is a huge, huge boon through the whole game. Oh, I don't want to pill. I can't do anything. <laughs> I backed myself into a corner, but I guess it worked. Okay, cool. The only problem with flying is that, like, while it's a good play to, like, hide on rocks and stuff, um, if you don't also have spectral tiers, which are tiers that can go through rocks, um, it's kind of like, you still have to be able to, like, dip out of the rock to attack enemies, or you're just not going to accomplish anything. Tinted rock! I could really, really use the rock the rock item at this point. I have a huge speed boost from the from the hobby horse. So Okay. No tinted rocks. Oh, these rooms are annoying. on the little the little um monstro dudes there their movement is so erratic that they're really annoying to fight um that plus the fact that like sometimes while they're jumping small rock that's the item i'm thinking of small rock while they're jumping they also like sometimes just can't be hit like your your tears will just go right through them because they're not considered you know collision so petrified poop is actually pretty nice to find this early um, it makes it so there's there's always a small chance of getting drops from destroying poop, but petrified poop makes it dramatically more likely, so it's actually worth it to destroy some poops. Also, holy shit, this dead end. Literally everything is up here. That's completely useless, okay. 
Can I get anything good from the shop? Probably not. Um, let's um, let's re-roll the shop once or twice here and see if we can get anything remotely good. Oh, the folded tarot card thing is actually really good. It makes it so there are no more pills in the rest of the run, and you can hold two tarot cards at once. Tarot cards are good, and pills suck. Let's do it. I'm going to drop this pill, which I should have done before grabbing the tarot card. Leaving and re-entering. Oh, I thought that would re I would uh, change the pill. Well, whatever. Ooh, Hierophant. Oh, no, no, it's not replaces everything with cards. It's um card effects are doubled. That's what it is. That's right. Oh, that's so good, though. Okay. Um, let's just clear the floor. I used to play this game like a hell of a lot. <laughs> not so much recently. Remember, forgetting little things like even what the small rock is called is kind of embarrassing, honestly. I'm actually going to speed this fight up just a tiny bit. Um... Something that I don't see a lot of people do is bombing the first couple of floors bosses. Because a lot of them are very susceptible to it, and it does a lot of damage. Can be a little risky though, because you don't want to waste your bombs. Um, and you might not even have that many bombs that early in the game. That's a good item to find, and I got my Devil Deal. We'll see what it is. Big fan of Tears Up. Ooh, a Theme. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's tempting. I like a Theme. I'll take it. Yeah, I missed with the second bomb. I hit with the first one, though. Alright, let's go. A Theme's a cool item. Um, When I take a hit, I'm now gonna make a, like, black circle around me, and the black circle deals damage to enemies, and if an enemy is killed by the black circle, um, they have a chance of dropping a black heart, which is also really, really good. So it's kind of a, yeah, like that. It's kind of a, a small possibility of me, like, breaking even on health when I take hits. Hey, a lucky penny. Flying is so good here. Oh, a bot fly room, or a bot fly, a bum fly room. Can I get a big chain of these? Let's see if I can get a chain of them and just destroy a whole bunch of them at once. Oh, stupid poop getting in my way. Let's just do that. The black poops are really valuable in these rooms if you could reach them. Um, because just hitting all enemies at once is, is quite handy, even if it's not for a whole lot of damage. Since I still have petrified poop, this is very worth doing. Okay. Bonies. I don't use that very often, but bonies are evil. Boners. <laughs> ah, no. Hit them. Okay. Alright, well that's a very fast boss find. That's actually kind of convenient, I guess. Boners. Larry. Larry, go away. I don't want to see you. At least Larry's a really, really easy boss boss battle. Okay. Let's go. That was a pointless gold chest. That makes me sad. This is a nasty room. Good thing I can just stand here and double shot it through the interme interdimensional buddy. Problem solved. I'm gonna pop the poops still. And get rewarded. Another soul heart. I aimed that poorly. Again, not used to using that spacebar item as a spacebar item. No black heart drops from a theme yet. I'm gonna go back and get this battery, just for the hell of it. Okay. Yeah, didn't want to deal with that. Ah, oh, that thing fired... A lot. Good lord.
Yeah, he's an interdimensional baby. I'm just calling him an inter interdimensional buddy because it sounds funnier. And that's what they are. They're buddies. They're my little buddy. Also, flying makes rooms like this one so easy. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and where they can't reach me. Excellent. Problem solved. Oh, this is a room that I wouldn't be able to do at all if I didn't have flying. Pandora's box? Well, I don't really have a choice but to use it. But that's a good item! Oh, yeah. Good item. Very, very happy. Surprising Pandora's box find. I'm not going to escape the room. I'm just going to clear it. Ah. Not positioned right to hit the stupid bat. There we go. I don't want butter. Familiar is... Yeah. But the items do have names. I'm pretty sure it's interdimensional, baby. I don't care. It's interdimensional. Actually, I think it is interdimensional, buddy. I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's my buddy. He's occasionally helping me deal more damage. Easy room, easy life. It's annoying that I already found the boss and now I just have to fucking look for the treasure and shop to be somewhere. Seed is trying to give me a lot of these uh, blue and white pills. Has me kind of wondering if maybe I should try to take one, because if it's a good pill, it would be nice to be able to just use all three of these. You know what? Completely pointless, but at least it wasn't a negative pill. Alright, moving on. Lots of leeches. Feels good actually having a little bit of damage, even though it's only a little bit. When did I get Abaddon? I don't have... I, oh, Abaddon is the uh, red pentagram. Um, I opened a red chest that had Pandora's box in it, and I had to use the Pandora's box immediately because of not being able to fly back off of the ledge where the uh, Pandora's box was. Um, so I just immediately used it, and that's what I got. So, very lucky for once. I kill red flies in one shot now. Yay! Go me. Lots of money. I like it. Oh, this pill's the opposite blue and white pill from the pheromones. So I don't know what this other pill does. Okay. I don't think I want to find out. Risking one pill was enough for me. Good lord, this is showering me with money. Okay, interdimensional buddy makes that room. Oh, here's, here's a room skip. Okay. Do it. Yeah, you know what? Hey, that's a good pill. Okay. Your encouragement was, uh, was a good thing. <laughs> book of Sin. Um, I'm gonna skip that. I don't care. Or Book of... No, that's Book of Belial, isn't it? No. Wait, what? Is that Book of Belial? I think it's Book of Belial. No, Book of Belial is the pentagram. It is Book of Sin. Okay. Eh, I'll get it, and I'll use it once. Make a pickup. It's pure white pill. Eh. Now we do the shop. Okay, so I'm a little... I, I I have to take Champion Belt. Um, It's one of the only... Da Oops, I didn't mean to pick up that soul hard. It's one of the only damage items you can get from the shop. And generally speaking, the extra damage pretty much makes up for... I'm going to get the map. Pretty much makes up for um more champions. At least in my opinion. It, it seems to work out that way. 
Damage is so valuable. Take the long way around here a little bit. Oh, this isn't the long way. But I got rewarded. With a Degas rune. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that. That's really good. That is really good. Yeah, Black Candle's amazing. Um, that was Blue Candle, though, which I don't want. I don't want to get rid of my hobby horse just yet. Oh, yikes. I hate this boss. This boss is, like, pure evil. Ugh. Oh, I didn't move fast enough. Okay, we got it. Whew. Yeah, the Frail is actually one of the more difficult bosses, one of the scarier bosses to see in uh, the early floors. Yeah, it's literally Linmolas. There's so much Zelda influence in this game. Um, but the one balancing factor to the Frail is that it has very little health. So it dies reasonably quickly if you're if you're quick and careful all right i'm gonna move right one room see if that's no it's not anything okay the room to the right could have been something useful like a shop or even the treasure but the rooms above cannot i have no reason to enter them or the room to the right no Wasn't that what I was saying? Yeah, the boss is called the Frail, and I just ate that attack. Yeah, the Frail's nasty. I can't stay still for this one. Okay, cool. I have solid damage. I'm quite pleased right now. I'll just cheese these by going into the water. I still have Petrified Poop. I might as well. Hope for some money. Hey, another lucky coin. Awesome. Funny thing about lucky pennies is that um, is that getting them makes getting more of them more likely. So like lucky runs tend to become lucky runs. I hate the champions that have the fly floating around them. I think that's called an eternal fly. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, the word frail isn't just a meme in this case. It's That's actually how it is. It's it's a frail enemy. Okay, um... I kind of want this. But also, I have a lot of a lot of floor to clear, so I kind of want to pick up Mama Mega. Um, I think I'm going to do this, actually. Let's just... Let's just cake mode the rest of this floor kill the shopkeeper. Maybe he'll have some money. He did have some money. Cool. I still want the tarot deck. Um, but now I can just... Sweet. Pill room. Go fuck yourself. I think when I pick up the tarot deck, though, it'll become a five uh, card room. Because I'm pretty sure the tarot deck is the one that erases um, pills from the map. That's really good right now. Gold key. Awesome. I'm also going to pop open this stone chest. Eh, I got some okay sh okay stuff from it. Keep my Degas ruin. There we go. Here's the treasure. I don't remember what that item does. Let's take a quick look at it. That's a relatively recent item, I think. Yeah, Afterbirth. It's damage up and tears can break objects. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's super good. Starter deck, not tarot deck. Yes, yes. Thank you. I I actually really appreciate you correcting me on item names um, because I just don't remember them. Rakano, totally using this. Oops. Give me my Degas rune. So I am actually going to full clear this floor since I used Mama Mega, and it's not going to take super long for me to do it um, because. There's lots of mushrooms on this floor. There's always a very real possibility that a mushroom will give me mini mush or even give me the magic mushroom, which would be a huge boon overall for the run. Um, I mean, it's not a very good chance, but it is a chance. So I might as well take it. Spider friends, yes. 
Also, the fact that I'm Mama mega ing the floor means I'm going to keep my blue buddies until the next time I actually, like, need them. At least until next floor. <laughs> God, Mama Mega is so bullshit. <laughs> oh, there's another really cool thing about Mama Mega. If you use Mama Mega on on Mum's floor or on the uh, womb, two, um, it'll actually force open the room to the boss rush or the room to hush, even if you don't meet the requirements, which are like time-based requirements normally. Cool, got the secret room. It's probably a pointless secret room. Let's bomb the dude. Yeah, it's a pointless secret room. That's disappointing. Ha! Huh, disappointing. Not even gonna look at it. Although I'm holding a Degas rune, and there were a few other hearts, I think, still on the map. Maybe I should hit the sacrifice a couple of times. Um, because I can get an item from it. Let me see the exact sacrifice mechanics, because I haven't done this in a, in a long time. Um, fourth one is a random chest. Fifth one is coins. Sixth is teleport to the devil deal. I have a super high chance of getting a devil deal naturally, so... I have to take a lot of hits to actually get the, um, 68? Oh yeah, I have six. No, no! I have 69 bombs. Nice. No, I don't have 69 bombs anymore. Oh well, it's fine. Yeah. We're almost done with this floor. I still haven't found anything that actually justifies the amount of time I'm taking to do this, which is making me really sad. Like, I, I always feel like um, when I'm being thorough like this, I want my thoroughness to be rewarded. Ow. This room's annoying. Not hard, just annoying. I don't care about that. Okay, so I fully cleared the floor. Guess I'll just go get the uh, the starter deck. I use my day guys to get myself some soul hearts. Yay! The moon! I already got the secret room, so whatever. Yep, these are all cards now, and a rune. What do we have here? Draw three cards. Draw six cards. Mmm. Oops, I did not mean to use that. <laughs> Whatever, they're hearts now, I don't care. Let's just do this. Ah, Mama Mega, you're not broken. Okay. So, I didn't get a devil deal. Um... Six hits for a possible teleport. Seven for an angel room item. I think I can afford that. I'm just gonna do it. Pay attention. Pay attention? What did I miss? Oh gosh. Woo! I'm just gonna blow these up. Okay, half a soul heart. That's nice to find. Oh yeah, hitting the card. Yeah, I was just overzealous. I misread what the card said, and I was like, oh, I'm dumb. I'm getting a whole lot of nothing here. This one's going to be potentially three coins. Okay, cool. Got some money. And then this one's the possible teleport. Didn't get the teleport. Got some more money, though. And then this one's a 
random, potentially an angel room item. Cool. That's a pretty nice find, actually. I'm, I'm more or less okay with that. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go f clear the floor now. There's a couple more pills I can run by on the way that aren't, you know, out of the way. Or too far out of the way, I should say. I might also buy the soul heart. I think there's a soul heart in the shop right now still. Hey, a devil card. Me likey. Uh, over here. Uh, devils are uh, the moon. Um, I'll take the moon and the sun for the moment. Or the... Nah. Okay. We're moving on. I don't even need the sun card. What am I doing? I have full map reveal. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, there wasn't a soul heart in here. I can make one. Ooh, I, I, I like this, buddy. I'm taking it. All right, let's go. Whatever. I, I shouldn't have bothered keeping the sun because I had full map reveal anyway. Okay, so going up is the fastest. Yay, I actually got a black heart drop from a theme. It's a miracle. We're gonna get this stone chest. More luck! Luck is actually amazing right now because um, I actually have a luck-based modifier on my attack, which is the yellow, the yellow shots. So if I get really high luck, I can have that guaranteed every shot. Oh, this room's bad. Okay. At least these aren't the brimstone ones. The brimstone ones are just frustrating. Okay. Yeah, so the yellow shots, what they do is they actually break rocks, which I think is really cool. <laughs> All right, so I've got to get out of jail free card with my devil card. I'm just gonna use it here. I don't want to deal with the... Oh, it didn't hit the top one at all. That's disappointing. Ah! Cripes. Yeah, I don't want the poop anymore. And that's frustrating. I definitely don't want to use the D4. I actually have good items. Is there a tinted rock? No. Let's go to the shop. Even though I don't have any money anymore. I'm still gonna go. Alright. Bum the dude. Nothing! Secret map is actually pointless for me to grab at this point because I have the mind. BFF is interesting, but it doesn't really do anything for these particular uh, buddies. The familiars. Just gonna do some more rerolls here because I have so many bombs. I might as well just do them. Oh god, a card against humanity. I'm just gonna move on. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna go to the secret room because it's literally like right here, and then I'm gonna go right to the boss. I love spider mod. I, I love spider mod. What does witch do? I'm gonna actually bomb these uh, blue flames as well. 
Yeah, the little bit of delay on my stream is a little frustrating. I'm really sorry. I wish there was something I could do about it. Card Against Humanity. Um, Card Against Humanity turns every available tile in the room you use it into poop. So it's funny. And if you have the petrified poop, which I just left behind, it can actually do the thing too. But I don't have the petrified poop anymore, so it's actually pretty pointless. A dime! Cool. Judas's tongue. Nah. Alright, cool. We're chugging along. Boss room is right there. I did not know that portals could spawn death's heads. That's kind of lame. Like, I actually didn't know that. More hands! Must catch hands! Alright, super secret room. Golden Horseshoe is, um... Your treasure rooms have a, like, 15% chance of being uh, multiple choice rooms. It's not a very high chance, so it's like... It's pretty much whatever, but it's kind of neat when it works. I love that... Oops. Let's just, uh... I love that Monster 2 kills his own bot flies most of the time. You're just like, okay, whatever. Do some free bonus damage with a bum. Ah, no. Alright, Liz, don't get hit again! Please. Please. No! That's what I just told myself not to do. Okay. We're good. We didn't take any red health, so we got a guaranteed devil room. Like the tears up here. Oh, fuck you, game. I'm mostly worried about the red flames in the corners. Alright, come on. 50-50? Oh, I didn't even get the... Oh, I did get the, the Lump of Coal. Okay, good, good. <clears throat> That's actually useful. The Lump of Coal means that um, as my shots travel further away from me, they deal more damage. It's basically just free little free little addition of, of damage to my shots. The other thing I could have gotten there was the Head of Krampus, which is a space bar item. That's not bad, but it's really not great at all. There's a library in this floor. Ooh. Quiet! This is a library! Okay. Oh, I hit- Oh, my spacebar doesn't have a charge. Uh, I'm good at this game. I tried to use my stupid spacebar item, and I got punished for it. Alright. Boom. At least the item room is, like, right here. Well, I got the guaranteed devil deal last floor, but this floor, like, it was unlikely- I really don't want scatter bombs. It was really unlikely that, that I would get a devil deal again consecutively anyway, but yeah, I just threw it away. Let's hope for black hearts. I have so many bombs, I might as well blow up some of these skulls. Open! Open! Good lord. Bracano! Yeah, good rune. Okay. So now I want to go up, because that's where the shop and library are. They're going to save the Bracano room for, rune for, like, right before I go fight the boss. I literally didn't see what hit me right there, by the way. I literally didn't see it. Okay, we're 
We're good. We're good. Got some health, too. You may be drunk. That's fine. You're allowed. You you are an adult. You are a consenting adult, and you consented with the alcohol to get drunk. I actually forgot <laughs> for a sec there. I forgot that I can just shoot the ro the skulls to kill them. Uh, I don't want the tower. That's a pretty basic library. Um, I guess I'll give myself a black. No, oh, it's book of Belial. Damn it. Thought that was the Satanic Bible for a second. Would have been nice. Okay, um, let's shortcut over to the shop here. Shortcut spawns mini boss. Okay. I used to have like a million coins. Or at least like 49. <laughs> Yeah, Dimensional Buddy is definitely really good now that I have a lot of damage. Fuck! Since I have a lot of damage and I can just, like, shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna get Steam Sale. There's not much shopping I can even do anymore. Um, the green present, I think, is good, isn't it? Um, one time you said spawn set from the current items room's item pool with a chance to spawn a lump of coal or the poop instead. Yeah, that's actually good. Um, I'll take that. And I'll use it. Um, not in the shop. I don't want a shop item full item. So let's just use it right here. Uh, whatever. Can it push doors open? That's cool. I like that. Alright. Super secret room over here. Ah, I don't think a theme is actually modified by luck. But also, I'm just playing poorly. <laughs> I'm playing carelessly. Very carelessly. I'm almost dead. Good lord. Liz, pay attention. Mega Fatty is one of the bosses that has just like 11 billion health and takes absolutely forever to kill as a result. Gonna hit these skulls up for possible card and rune drops and um, black hearts. Justice. That's good. Okay. So now I'm gonna hit this super secret. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so now we need to do the long ass- oops, I went the wrong way. The long ass trek to the boss. What, really? Ugh. I thought I was um, not in the range of that shot. And I once again went in entirely the wrong direction. I want to be going through rooms I've already cleared. There's no reason for me to go back through rooms I haven't cleared, uh, haven't cleared yet. I'm surprised I'm not seeing, like, any tilt tinted rocks whatsoever. I hate these things. Skulls, please. Getting nothing from skulls, I'm getting no tinted rocks. Getting no, almost no Athame drops. Just having somewhat poor luck this run. On top of my questionable play. That seems likely if it can, um, if it can force doors open. Alright. Uh, let's use Bracano. And we'll use the Magician when we go in here too. Just to make this a little easier.
Okay, moving on. Messy mom fight. Again, I'm playing kind of carelessly. I really need to tighten my play. Um, there's a mini boss. I think I'm gonna go for it. Because mini bosses here can actually have some drops and stuff that are worth actually taking a look at. And I have a strong enough build that none of the mini bosses should be an issue to me. Tinted rock, about time. Yes, a theme is like a brimstone type effect. So uh, the ma the magic card, magician card, or having like psychic actually makes it like draw in. It's really good. What hit me? Okay, whatever. I'm um, sure, whatever. I have to remember to drop that before the chest though. Okay, so now I want to go up toward the boss. There's no reason to really explore. Oh god, I'm so fucking bad. Feel free to laugh at me for that one. Why does that enemy have a crown over its head? I actually don't know that mechanic. Oh, fucking bullshit ass bullshit. Uh, this is a tinted rock. Cool. I'm actually gonna test the um I'm gonna test the sulfuric acid on um the the super secret room over here when I get there. Strength card, I actually like that. Cause it's gonna have a doubled effect. <laughs> Alright, cool. This is going somewhat smoothly. You know, smoothness tempered by my own play mistakes, which is fine. But oh, I didn't even get to test the stupid sulfuric acid. Uh, okay, that's good. I like soul hearts. I'll also definitely take a white heart right here. That's good. Oh, you fucking... Ugh, worst boss. I gotta get above it. Fuck. Jump down, a-hole. Thank you. At least it wasn't green bloat, but Jesus. Oh, yes! Yes! Okay. Okay. That's huge. Eternal heart. That's what the white hearts are called. Good, good. Okay, <laughs> that was huge. Oh my gosh, okay. That might make this run like winnable. Pew. Okay, so there's a library right here. I'm gonna destroy all of these rocks just because I can. I wish sulfuric acid would proc more, I have four luck. Okay, good. That's a soul heart, so that's actually made this ridiculous endeavor right here worthwhile. I have so many bums and I'm not not, not using them. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That was so not worth the time it took for me to do. <laughs> uh, really? Just a corny poop. Whatever. Well, at least I can blow this dude up to get higher devil deal chance for my final opportunity at one. Oh, not a library, but red chests. I'll take that possibility of something good. Okay, so now I want to go down and to the left. There's also a die room at the bottom. I'm going to go for that because that could be something good. Yeah, I have all the money. All the money. Four red spiders. Stupid ass game.
Where's the... Oh, there it is. Stupid phasing enemy. Okay, so now I need to go left. I hate these rooms. Well, that could take me straight to the boss. I'm gonna save this for, um, probably the cathedral. Oh, right, I have to kill the other one first. Eternal Heart! Awesome. Okay, another black chest, too. Justice. Justice is good. I'm totally cool with this. And this is a Burkano rune? Oh, hell yes. Alright, so we're gonna go left. This will be faster, or more efficient, I should say. Oh god, these enemies. I don't know what those giant mulligans actually do. Oh, they split into smaller shit? Oh god. These enemies are actually new to me. I I haven't been playing... I, I stopped playing the game before they got added to the game. Alright, I got a black heart. That's really good. Um, straight down for the die room. Definitely gonna take that. Another rune. Might be a good one. Ansa's literally does nothing. That's great. Hermit brings me to a shop, which I don't think does anything at all on these floors, does it? Like, it's not like... Ah. It's not like floor one where there's like a phantom devil deal. There's a tinted rock. You are right. I still didn't test sulfuric acid. Um, what was D2? D2 was rerolls all pickups in the room. I mean, I do want to get rid of the left hand at this point, so let's just throw these, grab Burkano back, keep the Hermit, I guess, and let's hit this, and get a key for my troubles. Alright, whatever game. Oh wait, that's right, I wanted to keep, uh, the, no, not the Fool. Did I leave it in the other room? Oh, I think I just re-rolled my Emperor card. <laughs> whatever, I'll keep the Hermit. Um, up is going to, no, left will be faster, it's one less room tile. As I walk into a brimstone room. Oh, come on, off screen. That's a foul. That's a, that's a technical foul. I'm calling it, I'm calling a technical foul on that. Let's just go straight up from here. I did t did I? Well, I'm gonna test it again up here in the room right above this. All these guts. Ah, trivial room if you're flying, because you, you don't have to deal with the guts. Oh, I'm shooting the wrong way. I wanna kill the portal. Okay, good. And now to be sure... Yo, that's cool, okay. Sure. Okay, um... Let's, uh... Let's use Bracano. And we'll use the, the devil in here. And we'll just chew through this thing. Spawning knights, dick move. Oh, this one's still alive. So much damage with interdimensional buddy. Cool. Oh, that's it? I thought I had to go to the cathedral. Yeah, I did reroll the emperor card. That is correct. Ah, fuck. I win. Cool. Excellent. I am pleased. That challenge is lengthy. Let's do one more. One or two more, I guess. Um, I really don't want to do speed yet. Um, let's do I rule. This one's a fun challenge. Cause you start with mom's knife. Woo. Okay. This is like the only like four fun challenge in all of these stupid ass challenges.
So yeah, um, Captain, if you're still there, I hope you are. Yeah, the joke of this is I I rule. It's it's high rule. I'm Link. I have a sword and shield. I started with a boomerang. I started with a bomb. I'm Link. The goal is defeating Mega Satan as Link. That's why I started with the stupid key. We Bum's knife is so busted. The only problem with this this rig, really, is that actually fighting Mega Satan himself. Oh hey, nice. Actually fighting Mega Satan himself with this setup is actually a little hard. I don't remember if this challenge has treasure rooms. I kind of think it doesn't. But I'm gonna actually go explore just this first floor since it's easy and see if it does. It might just have shops. Squirts, why? These little fast moving enemies are one of, are like the only ones that are actually hard to hit with Mum's knife. Okay, it's looking like there's no treasure room. Ah, still, Pride could give me something nice. Oh yeah, I have the ladder too. Like, literally Zelda 1. That was not worth it. Uh, okay. So I don't need to care about treasure rooms on this uh, challenge. That's good to... Good to know for sure. Because the treasure room would have been before here. Because of the way that the biome spawns um, the shop. The shop is supposed to be after the treasure room. That's a cool little feature. Double bosses. At least it's double super easy bosses with Mum's knife. Cool. I lost some range and gained everything else. Cool. Do I want the Satanic Bible? Um, I'm pretty sure that's a fucking hard yes. Because, um, the boomerang is not really all that good. Yeah, I never see Pin anymore. He's like the rarest boss at this point, I guess. An angel chest! Okay, I need to keep that in mind. Come back with more keys. Spawn rate on the, the room, the closet with an angel chest is really low. That's very rare. These have so much health. Awesome. Yeah, that's unbelievably rare to see. I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh, this is a bad bus for Mom's knife. Okay, come on. Stop bouncing off of walls. Ah, I couldn't avoid taking the hit. That sucks. Ah, you fuckers. It's fine, this map's simple. Awesome. Satanic Bible go! Ha ha ha! Satanic Bible goes brr. Alright, cool. Hell yeah! A battery. I want more black hearts. Let's go. 
Gotta be careful, that leech is gonna explode. Awesome! I used it properly. I'm pleased. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the shop. Boss room should be coming up real soon here, which kind of sucks because I still didn't get any... I don't think I have enough keys to really do the angel chest thing. Do I risk that gold chest or not? Hmm. Another battery! I'm okay with this. Oh, so there's two locked rooms. Interesting. Okay, I found the shop. <laughs> that's that's decent. I don't have a bum to blow the dude up with, though. Fuck. Ah, I'll just take this and get another black heart. Okay. Let's go back to the angel chest and be sad because I only got three shots of it. One! Fine, I'll take it. I've already used, like, three pills, so... I hate that, though. If an angel chest pops a pedestal item, then it's done. <laughs> but still, it gave me a pedestal item, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now I can open this gold chest quite comfortably. I should check that other locked room. Was there another locked room? There was another locked room, wasn't there? Yeah. Library. More battery. <laughs> That's all I care about. It was a black heart. Yes. Yeah, but it's there in the first place. Oh yeah, for sure. No, I am quite pleased. It's just funny when you're like, ah, do I have enough? Do I have enough uh, keys to really max out this? Um... Oh fuck. Do I have enough keys to max out this angel chest? And then I did because it was instant. I hate the frail. Ah! Die! Thank you. Alright, cool. I HP up right before a devil deal. Ugh. Honk! Hi, Drac. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I think I am going to take Uppy's collar. More for the... Like, the revive is just like, sure, if it goes off. But the possibility of becoming Guppy is still there. Even though it's like ultra mega rare in Afterbirth compared to what it used to be. Yeah. Okay, this seed actually has some uh, pretty okay um, pills. So I, I shouldn't be too upset about the... Um, I shouldn't be too upset about the um, bag of pills being one of my items. These red spiders are so bad with this build. Oh, fuck. I don't have any knockback, so I have to be real careful. Ow. Son of a biscuit. Shield, why you fail me? Okay. We're good. We're good. Yes! I'm in a whole other run now. I won the horse run. Oh my god, these are so fast. What the hell? Oh, that's right. I used an I'm excited pill. Fuck. What does witch do? Ah, fuck. Playing poorly. The shield? The shield is supposed to block tears from that direction. Pill bag? The pill bag makes it so the only... So, um, there can no longer be, uh, tarot cards or, um, runes on the floor. 
Um, and you can carry two pills. I think it lets you carry two pills. I'm pretty sure it does. Either way, though, it removes every non-pill, like, drop like that from the, from the game. And replaces them with pills. Pills, pills, pills. Alright, well this time I actually have a bomb to blow the dude up with, so let's blow the dude up and see black sp uh, black spiders, so whatever. Or red spiders, I think they were. Oh, this room's rude. Kill the leeches first. Okay, that portal didn't last too long, that's a small mercy. Cool. Why did I take it? Because the angel chest gave it to me. So I was like, sure. I went to all this trouble to get the angel chest. And the game gave me some cool shit. So I was like, I'll take the pill back. I'm, it's more to have fun. Because this, this um, challenge, the I rule challenge, is really a for fun challenge. I mean, they start you with mum's knife, for crying out loud. Blood clot. I don't even think that does anything at all with Mum's knife. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does nothing with Mum's knife. Oh well, that's okay. Cool. Didn't have to deal with the death's heads. Yeah, oh, fuck. I was too hasty. Yeah, okay, whatever. Mm. Get rid of the wall spider first. Okay, perfect. No, I am not using another I'm excited pill. That's a bad pill. Ah, enemy is so aggressive. Ah, getting pressured. More enemies that are actually like not super trivial with Mum's knife. They move around so much. Why was that not hitting it? Alright, good. I've got the bombs, I might as well bomb my way into this boarded room. It's a messy room, no point in bombing the carpet. It's a shame that diagonal um, knife throws are so dicey on when you're using keyboard. They're much easier with a controller, but I'm so much more comfortable playing this game with a keyboard. Death's Head's room. Gotta kill the black one. Got it. Okay, cool. Okay, good. That's actually good, because I can just use this and then grab the battery and have capped health. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ah. Okay. Whew. Well, that's convenient. Okay. Let's do this. This is actually a boss that's relatively easy with Mum's Knife, because it spends a lot of time just standing still in between attack patterns. Excellent. Krampus! Like, best case scenario, he drops nothing useful, and worst case scenario, he drops even less useful. 
Alright, well I got the best case scenario and got nothing useful. I'm, I don't know if the lump of coal works with Mob's Knife. I don't think it does, because it's not getting bigger as it flies. Alright, moving on. Curse of the Blind, fight me game. Um, I'm actually going to pop this with my last bomb. <laughs> Three health up pills and an unknown. Oh, one makes you larger. Okay, I'm going to grip a pair of health up pills just in case. Just in case of what, you ask? I don't know. That's what just in case means. Oh, yuck. Praise be to the black heart that I immediately replaced. Alright. I'm getting RNG'd by the jumpers. Not really, I'm not moving around enough. I'm, uh... I'm getting a little tired, so I'm getting sloppy, even for my standards. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Son of a biscuit, I got wall mastered, and I was even moving and trying to attack that mom's hand. Because I knew there was a fourth one coming. Oh, I can use this. Ugh. See, I want to take the risk. Fuck it. Yeah! Okay. That was so worth it. I shouldn't have taken it, but it was so worth it. <laughs> uh, I love it when the risk reward is actually a reward. The dongos! I even gimmick killed it, because why not? Okay. I couldn't wait to bomb some Dodongos. I have never seen this room layout. I hate squirts when you're using Mum's Knife. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the trap! Ah, fuck! I literally was right in the path of the fucking tear. And only got away with it the first two shots because of the shield. Da dongo, but he eats knife instead. Yes! Although I did also feed it a bomb. It was pretty cool. Ah, let's see what's in this room. More speed! I am not using another lockdown pill. Uh, the Satanic Bible is the real star of this run. That was such a good find. It's giving me so much health. So Red Mum tends to just stomp you a billion times. I actually should be um, not launching my knife and just standing next to her. There we go. I am in no way inclined to go to the boss rush. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's take this. Whatever. Guppy's paw. Ooh. That's two guppy pieces. Gonna keep the Satanic Bible though, because it's more overall health over time. Don't have to give up some of my red hearts. 
yeah, Mum's knife really tears through certain bosses, like uh, Larry Jr. especially. You're just like, I don't give a shit. You're dead. I'm gonna hit, oops, all of your segments at once, and you're just gonna die. All right, so the champion belt is actually, like, most champions, I don't really care. But the exploding ones are dirty. Also, I just got cornered hard. Which pill is the yellow one? I don't know. Friends till the end! Awesome, that's a really good one. I thought I already, I already used one of those pills. Why wasn't that identified? That's weird. Oh, I have this. Cool. Yes, my elf is invisible because um, the floor has a curse at the bottom. See, it says Curse of the Unknown. Uh, curse, when you spawn it into a floor, there's a small chance, not that small, but small chance that it'll be a cursed floor. One of them is Curse of the Unknown, which hides your health bar. Ah, uh, I hate those eyes. Tinted rock? There's usually a tinted rock in these rooms. No? Okay. Thank you for killing the other enemy for me. Oh, yikes. I don't have flying. Got it. Okay. Nasty room. When you have flying, that room's actually pretty trivial, but when you don't have flying, it's gross. These enemies are annoying as hell. Ugh. I had to do some risky close range maneuvering there. So one of those shot a shot at me and it hit me instantly. This I don't think does anything with Mum's knife either. What's a D3? D3 is... Rerolls all pickups on the entire floor. You know what? I'm gonna keep that spawned. I'm gonna keep this open. Come on. No. Alright, I have this. Might as well use it. Alright, cool. Not a single pickup from any of those. Bite me, game. How about no? Oh, this is gonna be an annoying womb. That might be a secret room. I don't have any bombs left. Uh... Alright. So, we found two full on dead ends. Let's find all the rest of them. What the fuck are those enemies? Legit more enemies that I've honestly never really played against. Well, that's an eternal enemy. That I've never actually played against before. It's like, oh. More of these guys. Come on. Oh, these are so awful. I don't know the r right way to approach this room. There we go. Up is the correct direction. I can just take care of these nerve endings. Good. I am seeing so many of these stupid ass enemies. So I see how they work now. When you kill the floaty dudes, they, they shoot a tear at you. That makes sense. It's not really I could nothing really I could do there. Heck. Okay, um, I'm really tempted to go do that L-shaped room just to get the last tick on my satanic Bible. I think I will. Also, this will actually do something as opposed to the bouncy ball, which does nothing.
At least this is a really easy room, if a little tedious. Awesome, okay. That's what I wanted. Okay. Bus time. Oop, I can't wait to go to the next floor and see how little health I have. <sighs> yeah. Again, an enemy I'm actually not familiar with. Other than the fact that she spawns a lot of ball sacks. And then she becomes... Chad? I'm so confused by this. Alright, die already. Seems like a boss fight that having AoE against is like borderline essential. One leech left. No leech left. Sure, I'll take health up. Let's go. How much spare health do I still have? <laughs> Nearly none, as expected. <laughs> Alright! Ugh. At least those guys are really easy with Mum's knife. Just kind of walk up to them and stabity stab them. Oh, this room's gonna be gross. I don't know if there's any way for me to do this room without taking a buttload of damage. Oh gosh, that's one still alive. Okay. Oh my gosh. Godsend! Thank you for the battery game! Only have to kill this thing. Okay, good. You've looked into some other people playing Memory of Heroes. Glad you get the premium sound version. Changes the BTM whenever you change form. And he tracks us through the beginning? That's fucking awful. That's. That is such a bad design decision. That sounds like it would be annoying. Purely annoying. Okay, this is going actually quite quite well now that I'm, you know, Moving forward. I would really love to get some red heart drops though, which is a sad thing to say in utero too. <laughs> I think I'm... I have 15 coins. I'm gonna waste a little bit of time in the um, arcade back here, and hopefully I'll get some health. Health! Health! Those are not health! You're not healthing me! Oh. That didn't help me at all. Heck! Game's being mean to me. Game's being really mean to me. Alright, so those were... Crazily enough, mostly dead ends. I guess I'll go this way. Oh, that's a complete dead end. Oh, fuck. Alright, that's fine. Try going left from the starting room as well. I'm sure this is going to be a dead end, though. Yep, it's a dead end. Figures. At least this is an easy room. And a tinted rock. I'm going to hit that tinted rock with nothing, because I don't need bombs left. Ah! I can't believe I got no consumables. Like, I got, sorry, I got one key from that stupid arcade machine. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, cool. 
Well, tinted rock? No, no tinted rock. This is a tinted rock. I want that. I'm not gonna get a bum though, because why would I? Fuck! Okay, well at least I got this back. Oh well. Damn it, I tried to dodge that. I'm bad. Shield OP! Okay. Oh, it's so tempting to go to the hush just for the sheer fuck of it. But I have to go to Shoal. Curse of the Blind! That's so pointless on this floor. Okay. Um. This is like the absolute worst fucking floor. Because there is nothing in this floor except combat. Lots of enemies. Some of the most annoying and difficult enemies in the game. The occasional boss room, because of course not. Of course, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't there be? Okay, that's good. There's a very small chance of these dropping hearts, which is what I'm doing. At least the knife rips through the flames like they're nothing. Because everyone knows that that's how you put out fires, uh, by throwing a knife at them. Oh, this is an evil room. That's one down, and then I took a hit. Come on! Fuck! Die! Thank you. Ugh, I'm on my last legs here. At least I still have the Satanic Bible. Yeah, but when people say cut off the source of oxygen, they don't mean it literally. <laughs> yeah, no, I am not using an I'm excited pill. Um, that would be a death penalty. Yikes. That was a complete dead end. Let's get some pills and see if I got lucky. Did not get lucky. But I'd rather be carrying x lax than I'm excited. Okay, that's good. Let's try and avoid that soul flame. Ugh. What an awful room! Fighting literal bosses. Thank Jesus for the satanic bible. <laughs> Oh god, not a good room. Come on. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna find all of the dead ends. Just watch. Are you kidding me? Game, could you don't? Fuck. Alright, there goes my eternal heart. That's fine. Oh god, that's so good. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, 
Oh, I'm so glad that that worked. Oh, that's, that's really good. Okay, okay. Ah! Come on, I, I want to keep my health for like two rooms. I want my health with Satanic Bible to be a net gain, not a net loss. Or break even or whatever. At least this is an easy room. There. Hey, bombs! Nice. Not that I really have any use for the bombs at this point, unless I get really lucky and find, like, a... tinted rock or something. They're so hard to find in this floor, though. Lots of boners! Black boners! I just made that so much worse. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm so dead. I'm dodging in entirely the wrong ways. I need to remember that the damn shield blocks the tears. Ow, didn't move. All right, we're good. We're we're good. We're good? Question mark. Okay, good. Holy moly. Let's just burn this pill to get rid of it. Okay. You're fucking kidding me. <sighs> I really, really, really don't want to fight Mega Satan in Curse of Darkness. Fine. There's no way I'm winning this. This is this is almost unwinnable. This is going to be extremely difficult in the darkness. Fuck, too close. Oh, God, I couldn't see the spider. This is so bad. Gotta kill this guy. Now gotta go for death. Fuck, I couldn't see him. I can't see the spawns. Ruined. Ruined. I mean, the run wasn't good to begin with, but... Curse of Darkness. What a load of bullshit. Right on the goal floor. Almost every hit I took just now against Mega Satan, I couldn't see the enemy. Couldn't see them. Had no idea where it was. <sighs> okay. Fine game. You win this time. That run was fun. I used the pills. And they sucked, basically, as expected. But it was fun. That's what I'm what I what I care about really. Okay. I think um I think it's been long enough. I think it's about time. I'm gonna go ahead and call it for the night.